Well, welcome back to Vintage Farmhouse Antiques. And how English is that piece of china? A footed terrine or serving bowl could be used as a fruit dish for display. It's actually very of its period, probably 1930s, early 1940s. And it's actually made by Johnson Brothers. Lovely scroll handles, beautiful gilt retention on there. This pattern so of its period, this pre-war floral, so English again. Old Staffordshire is the line, just let me get that china mark, there you go, you can just see the Johnson Brothers crown, 23 inscribed by the decorators or mould onto the base here. Lovely moulding detail around the legs, hasn't been picked up by any of the pattern. And around the lower rim, again this little scroll border, some more detailing and moulding around this piece. Condition wise, it's in very fine condition, very little wear, the glaze is fine, just look at the internal cleanliness and clean, no staining or anything, and a beautiful piece. Would it have had a lid when it was made? Well, some of these were made with lids, some weren't. Terrines um, quite often would have had a lid from this period, and these would have been used as vegetable terrines to, to serve in reasonable size houses up and down England that still had staff pre-war and a housekeeper. So dinner would have been served in pieces like this to the table. And it's of its era, really. What, what, what else is to say about it? It's very English, very beautiful, very pretty now. What do you use it for in the 21st century? Well, display mainly, but also just for a fruit bowl or storing things on dresses. There's a variety of modern uses that this could be put to. And somebody will love it. Somebody may even have the lid somewhere that they've broken or chipped, damaged one of the handles. There's no pattern reference, so listing this basically is very, very difficult. The range uh, contain many different pattern variations, so we have to just describe it more or less visually in terms of the pattern and uh, optimise the graphics so somebody will hopefully find it and recognise the pattern as a match for pieces within their collection. Link description below will take you directly through to the website listing for this piece. Got loads of other period Johnson Brothers, pre and post war, loads of patterns. One of the biggest English china makers of the period, really, Johnson Brothers. And it was exported around the globe to all the empires and to the US. So large pieces and sets quite often will be rare in one locality, but pretty common where they were sold well in another part of the world. So thanks for watching. I hope that's been of interest to you. Thanks again. Bye-bye.